And as long as tensions remain and fighting continues in Ukraine, NATO members in Europe will continue to be anxious. And that anxiety is taking many forms. Whether it's building up its own military might or conducting joint troop exercises or preparing the next generation for war. That's what Lithuania is doing, in fact. It is preparing its kids for war at the Russian border. On the border with Russia, Lithuania has launched an innovative educational program. One that teaches children as young as 10, even adults, how to fly, assemble and program drones. The first of what will be nine such schools now operational as part of Lithuania's effort to strengthen its own military defensive capabilities. At the school, located just about 20 kilometers from Russia's Kaliningrad enclave, students learn to operate first-person view, quadcopter and single-wing drones on computers. Pupils practice virtual flights while at the training range. Youngsters took control of mini drones, some crashing them, but always under close supervision. We are not preparing uh, this project for the war. This project is preparing for, uh, for future. Uh, and uh, good educated future. Of course, uh, military, uh, they will need, they will need uh, good educated specialists too. It's not, not just uh, like this, but, uh, but of course it's educational program, uh, program who has, have goals to educate children and, uh, and to educate uh, learning with drones. Well, the teachers say the children and teenagers are engaged and even enthusiastic as classes reportedly see full attendance. There are currently three centers operational and plans are underway to expand to nine by 2028, expecting 300 to 400 children and youngsters to participate each year. And today we have three, uh, three centers totally uh, till 2028 uh, in Lithuania will be uh, nine centers. In every, uh, we will calculate uh, about uh, uh, eight, five, 300, 400 kids and youngsters who will uh, land in the centers. We are building our capabilities to be, you know, the hedgehog for our, you know, enemy. So it's, it's all about building the military defensive capabilities and you know that Lithuania is actually taking very seriously living in the, you know, uh, in, the, in, in a neighborhood with Russia and Belarus. So there is a huge attention right now politically into the defense investments. Now this initiative comes after two Russian drones reportedly crashed in Lithuania. Just last Friday, NATO announced plans to beef up the defense on its eastern flank. Two days after Poland claimed it shot down drones that had violated its airspace in the first known action of its kind by a member of the Western Alliance during Russia's war in Ukraine. We are not preparing children for war, as many people see and think. We are preparing children for a better, happier life, assuring ourselves. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.